Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store. It's the moment every hockey parent dreams of, watching your child take the ice in their NHL debut. In this case, the player is Igor Sokolov of Yekaterinburg, Russia. The mother is Ashley Ryan of Sydney, Nova Scotia. But don't let the distance between their hometowns fool you, their family. I truly believe that when he walked into my life, it was just, this is how it's meant to be, whether wherever this kid's gonna go, this is, I'm with him for this. It was 2017 when Sokolov first stepped off a plane in Sydney to join the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles and to meet his billet family, the Ryans. The only word I knew was hi, so basically that, that's how our, our conversation started and then it quickly ended. I think he says he says hi, I don't think he even knew hi. I remember the car ride home was just silent. I met Igor, it was the start of my second season. He had uh, one word for me, just, just a quick hi. And then I was talking to my bill parents. I'm like, I gotta go just Google Translate with this guy. And I'd put it in in English, and then he'd translate to Russian. I'd say, we're leaving for the rink at nine tomorrow. And then I'd show him my phone, and then he'd just give me a head nod. And sure enough, he'd be down like 8.30 the next morning, ready to roll. With the Ryans, Igor also gained a new little sister, Nico, who wouldn't let a language barrier get in the way of playtime. Pretty much every day, I took him into my playroom to play with Barbies, like I trapped him in there. She'd just take him in and you'd just have this big Russian boy sitting on the floor just playing around with the Barbies. Absolutely anything she'd ask, like he was there or he'd do. Her little world just revolves around him. I'm looking at her as my little sister and she has a big brother now in her life and he, she knows uh, I'm always here to help. What are you doing? I used to hate playing hockey. So like there was this eagle thing one year and kids come and skate and Igor was there on the ice and I didn't know how to skate and he's like, Nico, you're going to skate, you're going to do this. And I just loved him telling me that I'm a good hockey player, I did so good and I just love him. In the spring of 2020, with junior hockey put on hiatus, most billeted players returned home to their families. But Sokolov decided to stay in Cape Breton. Despite challenges, Igor and the Ryan family found a way to stay connected to their community. So my husband and I own the franchise of Foodland in Sydney Mines. I just kind of started a Facebook page and um, it was like, you know, I'll shop your order. So I'd go over at like 5 a.m. in the morning, get all the orders, put them in crates. And then it was like, calls like, how are we delivering these? We basically came up with the idea where, you know, she's going to get the grocery orders, pack them up in the grocery store. And once I'm done kind of my training at home, I will just drive over, pick up the groceries and, you know, drop them off on the step. Everybody, they'd be just be waiting in windows for him. If there was a time where I went with him and I got out and it was kind of like, oh, and I'm like, no, no, he's here. Like, he's getting them out of the back. Like, <laughs> I was happy to be able to give back to the community and obviously, you know, help Ashley and Kyle and, you know, everything they've done to me and, you know, helping me grow as a player, helping me grow as a person. So it was pretty special to me. With Pick 61, the Ottawa Senators are proud to select from the Cape Breton Eagles. <laughs> Today, Sokolov is establishing himself with the Ottawa Senators, a big forward with a big personality. Hey, don't, don't say anything stupid, please. Oh, my stick is spilling it today. Oh, maybe not. Watch out. It's not in my office, man. Come on, boys. That was a nice snipe, eh? Ooh. As Sokolov embarks on his professional career, the Ryans are still there, supporting his journey. During a time defined by social distancing, this unconventional hockey family grew closer. I'll constantly say he's my boy that I was meant to have. I do for him as I do for my own. He absolutely is my own and right down to my parents, like that's their grandson. I'm very proud of him, like starting in Russia playing hockey, then he gets to um, Cape Breton Eagles and now I'm like, Wow, he's in the AHL and he got called up to the NHL. I'm very proud for him. They're like his second family, obviously. You know, they've been there for him since he was 17. And, uh, you know, I know what it's like firsthand, how well Ashley and Kyle treat uh, their players there. And, uh, 
you know, they take Igor in as one of their own. He has so much fun and he's always with them uh, doing stuff as a family, so definitely special. They had me for three years in, uh, in junior and, and you know, now I'm in pro and they're, you know, they're still here with me sharing my games. I think it's special. I think lots of more kids could have a special connection with their Billy families.